What's going on? This week, we're gonna talk about the difference between busyness and handling your business. Let's go. My name is Ojinga Carr, and I'm the CEO of Epiphany Consulting LLC, and I want to welcome you to another AHA Monday. It is March the 27th. This is the last Monday in the first quarter of the year. Feels like just a second ago I was talking about that we're in the new year. We're already a quarter through this new year. Where are you on your goals? Where are you on your places? I am a certified high performance coach. What I do is I work with businesses and individuals and help them be able to achieve more. More of what it is that you want to do instead of what it is that you have to do. I love my job. I love what I get to do working with my individual clients as well as my business clients and making sure we kind of structure all those things together because I'm an organizational structure expert. That's what I look at is how do we put the structure together so that it will fit and so that it will function in the best way, but I really love these AHA Mondays because this is my opportunity to talk to you, to talk about inspiration, to talk about how it is that we make movements in our goals. These things that I'm sharing with you over this time are things that have allowed me to lose 150 pounds in my life. They are things that have allowed for me to go from bankruptcy to building a great business where we can really be able to support my family and be able to help the world. And so those two big pieces are excellent to me. So I love these AHA Mondays. So here we go. I wanna talk about the difference between busyness and business. Busyness and business. I talk to too many entrepreneurs, small business owners, stay at home moms, whoever who I'm working with, who are consistently busy, but not very productive. I like to be your productivity partner. I like to be able to help you figure out how do we produce more in our lives. Kind of how I got into this um, space and what we're doing because people would say, wow, you've achieved so much in a small amount of time. How are you able to do it? And so there's a difference between being busy and being going about the business of your life or, or working within your business and doing it. Many of us, we look at our to-do list, if we have a to-do to -do list at all, and there's 20 things that we have in our day that we need to get accomplished. We've got to segment out your day. So the first thing you gotta do is segment out your life. What are the things that are the most important things to get done in your life? So if you're not making a to-do list, yes, I'm talking to you, that person's out there that says they're not doing it, then we first have to start off making a to-do list, making sure that we say, okay, here's what needs to get done. But a great thing to do is on this Monday, if you're getting started with this, is to figure out what do you need to get done for the week and then segment out on a daily basis what is the most important thing, what is the thing that has to be done right now, what is it? because I know too many broke business, busy people who are in business, but they are always busy. They're always going, making runs, doing things, doing all those different pieces in their life, but none of it is productive. All right. So even if it's not about the financial productivity of it, how productive is it in your life? It is productive for me to spend time with my child. So I have to make sure that I do that. That has to be in the schedule of things to do. It's productive for me to make sales, sales calls or to work with my clients or those pieces as far as that, because those are things that bring money in to my family. So I have to make sure that those things are time in my schedule. It's productive for me to spend time with my wife to make sure that I am segmenting out to be able to do that as well too. Otherwise our relationship will fall on the back burner. So understand that this is not just about money. Although it is about business, we have to look at it and say, how is it that we can be productive in our lives? How is it that we can go about the, the business of our lives? How is it that we can do that and not be so busy? Because many times, and what I look with when I'm working with a client is I'm like, where is the white space in your calendar? Where is the space? Because things are going to happen. Your child is gonna get sick, all right? There's gonna be some emergency at work. There's gonna be something that happens. So we have to be able to maneuver some white space. If you're completely and totally scheduled and really busy, 
then it's really hard to be about your business. And so that's what we want to figure out is how is it that we can be about our business and be able to structure it in the right way. And so that's unbelievably important, whether you're talking about at home or in your organization. So when we're talking about being busy versus being in business. Big thing is, is that we have to structure our week and our day to perform. I would suggest a no more than three things to get done in a day, three major things to get done in a day. Then when those fires come in, then when those bombs drop in, it doesn't blow us out of the water and we can actually get done what we're looking at knocking out there. I am super, super excited today because today on AHA Monday on March the 27th, it is actually 75 days into our huge event, event, the Breakthrough Accelerator Boot Camp. It is coming to Memphis on June the 10th. It is available to you for you to come to this event live. If you fill out an application, you can actually get a tuition waiver to come to this event. Hit this website, BreakthroughAccelerator Come. Make sure you hit that website. This is going to be an amazing event that is about you, Y-O-U, yourself, your organizations, and your universe. You're going to come out of this event with some tools to be able to figure out how do we structure these pieces in our life. If you like what we do in AHA Monday, it's going to be high energy, fun event. Make sure you hit that link and apply to come to this event in person in Memphis, Tennessee, June the 10th. I look forward to seeing you there. It's been an amazing, amazing AHA Monday. It's gonna be a terrific week. I can't wait to see your gains and show me how you structure. Send it to me, send it to me in the email if you're on my email list. Send it to me via say, social media. I'd love to talk to you about those things. My name is Ojinga Carr and I dream, I achieve. Thank you.